In this video, we will talk about how to plot the three phase voltages and short circuit current. So, let us create a new graphic board. Select Insert New Graphic Icon on the Graphics Sports Toolbar. Then you can select either grid, block diagram, virtual instrument panel, or single line graphic. But in this case, I am going to use virtual instrument panel. So click on execute. In the next step, to show the parameters, signals, or variables, we need to create a plot by clicking on Open New Icon. There are many plots available in the pull down list. And in this case, I am going to select subplot, which is the basic diagram and is generally used to display one or more plotted curves from the result of EMT or RMS simulation. From here, more than one subplots can be created. Since we want to plot the three phase voltages and short circuit current, therefore we need to create two subplots. So as you see, two new MPT subplots appear with the standard settings. So now we can add the elements by double clicking on the subplots. But before that, we need to define the elements. Let us plot the three phase voltages and short circuit current of the third and the fourth bus bars. So first we need to define them. Select them, right click, and from define, click results for RMS EMT simulation. Then double click on bus three, and in the variable set, select current, voltages, and powers. Then select all bus bars. Uh, I think we should choose EMT simulation. Yeah, now we can select all buses. Select line to line magnitude voltage of phase A, phase B, and phase C. Also, the magnitude of short circuit currents for phase A, phase B, and phase C. You can also select per unit values of the three phase voltages and short circuit current. Similarly, select the same variables for bus 4. So now the variable are defined, go to the subplot, double click here, then double click on the result file and select all components. By double clicking here, choose your element. Let us first plot the three phase voltages of bus 3, then double click on variable and select magnitude voltage of phase A. Then right click here to create two more rows for phase B and phase C, then enter the informations. From here you can change colors, style and weight, but I am leaving them as default setting. Click OK. Next add element for short circuit current. So double click here and select all calculations. Then select pass 3. Then select the variable phase A short circuit current. There is an easy way to select multiple variables. So hold down the control key in your computer and then select your variable. Now we need to execute the voltage and short circuit current waveform for both normal operating and fault condition. So from the change toolbox icon, select RMS EMT simulation. 
then calculate initial conditions and make sure that the simulation method is on instantaneous values. But if you select RMS values, you will see a straight line. Click on execute. Then click on start simulation, run the simulation for 0.5 seconds. Then click on automatic access. Now you can see the three phase sinusoidal voltages for phase A, B and C. But short circuit current is zero because there is no fault in our system. To evaluate the short circuit current for different scenarios, we need to define short circuit events. So let us go to the line diagram of our network system. Right click on bus 3 from define, click on short circuit event. And a new short circuit dialog will pop up. Assume from 0 to 0 0.2 second there is no fault. So enter 0.2 second for the execution time of fault and fault type is 3 phase short circuit. Click OK. For clearing the fault, we need again to define a short circuit event. Uh, similarly, right click on bus 3 from define, click on short circuit event. So let us assume that the short circuit will be cleared after 0.3 second. It means that from 0.2 to 0.3 second, there is a short circuit in our system. And after 0.3 second, the short circuit is cleared. Click OK. If you want to see the events that you define, click here. You can also edit them by double clicking on each of your event. Let us name this one as clearing fault. Also from here, you can see the events that you created already. So we define our short circuit events. Now let us plot our waveforms. First we need to calculate initial conditions. Then click on start simulation. And the time here should be greater than the time that we define for short circuit events. The clearing fault time was 0.3 second. Therefore, the whole running simulation time should be greater than 0.3 second. So let us say 0.5 second and execute it. Uh, click on Uto scale. That is how our waveforms looks like. As you see, from 0 to 0.2 second, our system is operating normally. But from 0.2 to 0.3, there is a short circuit events, and the voltage system drops down, and the fault current is raised. And after 0.3, the three phase fault is cleared, and the system turned back to the normal operation. Let us see the change in the waveforms if there is line ground fault. So, Again, we need to define a new short circuit events. Right click here and from define, click on short circuit event. Then select fault type as single phase to ground fault. And from here, you can select either phase A, B or C. Let us say fault will occur on phase B. You can also determine the fault resistance, but in this case, I will leave them as zero. And assume the single phase to ground fault on phase B occurring at 0.4 second. Click OK. Let's check it.
Now you can see that after 0.4 second, there is a fault on phase B and the phase B voltage is collapsed and the phase B short circuit current is builded up. Let us clear the fault after 0.5 second. So again, we need to define an event. Right click here from define, select short circuit event. Change fault type to clear short circuit. And 0.5 scan, click OK. Let us check it. Since the fault clearing time for single line to ground fault was 0.5 scan, so we need to increase the running time simulation to see the whole wave fault. Let us say 0.8 second. Now you can see that phase B fault is cleared after 0.5 second and again turn to normal operation. Let us see the voltage waveform plot on bus 4. Double click here and from the element select bus 4 for all phases. Then click OK. Let us check it. As we expected, the voltage waveform is actually the same as bus 3. Fault is occurring at 0.2 and cleared at 0.3. Then there is a single fault to ground from 0.4 to 0.5 second. Let us look at to the single line diagram. The short circuit events were defined on bus 3. When fault occurring here, all the buses downstream from bus 3 will interrupt it the same as bus 3. Since there is no voltage connected to these bus bars. In case of fault here, all these buses will turn off. Let us add a wind farm in this bus. Select p.cos5 for input mode. 1.5 megawatt for active power and 0.9 for power factor. Now we have a wind farm in the network system. In case of fault, power can be supplied from the wind farm and all the system will not turn off. So in this condition, all bus bars will not be interrupted similarly. And when fault occurring on bus 3, that may have less effect on bus 4. So let us check the waveforms. Yeah, as we expected, the voltage is not affected that much. So I hope that you can learn the concept. If you found this video useful, then please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next video.